Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. All right, moving on. Number two, can you share some strategies or tactics that you use to increase income and wealth? Pretty straightforward. Strategies or tactics. So I'll, I'll give you a couple. Yeah. Uh, I think f- let's do a big picture and let's do a zoom, like zoomed in. Yep. Zoomed in. I'm a believer that we've all got to get good at marketing and sales. Mm. Um, you know, it was, it was, it's been said by many, many people that everything is sales. Um, and, and, and my opinion is that sales is leadership. And my opinion is that leadership is influence, right? So we've got a lot of, uh, influence a lot of influences that are those quotes are coming from. But if I think we need to get good at marketing, which is a whole different conversation that I'm, we're not going to get into right now, uh, whether that's marketing yourself, but typically we're talking marketing your company, branding your company, but the the process of generating leads and being able to convert those into revenue. And um, so that I would say that's a, a more specific one where if people sometimes people take their eye off the ball. And if we cannot do well at marketing and if we cannot do well at sales, whatever that is, whatever business people are in, it's hard to, it's hard to, um, you know, David, you and I were talking about this. We, we all, there's a balance between building wealth and having income. Mm. And it's nice, no matter which route you're going to go though, building wealth or producing active income, uh, it's, it, it's, vital to be good at marketing and sales in some capacity. It so absolutely is. That's so marketing small, and sales. That's a, that's huge. Can't agree more. That's, a, that's, that's the two big ones. I would say the other stuff doesn't matter. You know, sometimes people are like, Hey, I've heard about reading this book or that book. And I'm thinking that book was written for companies that have like 300 people. <laughs> like you you just told me you're wanting to get started in, uh, in, and scale up from making, you know, uh, $40,000 per year to make in a hundred thousand dollars per year. Like you, you know, maybe not the best uh, choice of books right now for you. So the, the bigger picture one I would say is, um, yeah, could I steal some Stephen Covey? You know, my favorite book uh, of all time is seven habits of highly effective people uh, begin with the end in mind. And if people could stop and take time periodically to just stop and think, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? Where am I headed? Why do I want to head that direction anyway? What's the point? What's this all about? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And then, and then I would say the second, uh, business wise, in case this is a, I don't know if this is a business, you know, podcast, David, but is I think people need to start thinking about how they're making money. And if you want to go like Robert Kiyosaki and think that the old ESBI, you know, employee, self-employed business owner, investor, I think there's a lot of people that call themselves investors, um, especially thanks to real estate. And in no way are they investors, not nope. according to the I quality. Not at all. They're self-employed. <laughs> They're self-employed. Exactly. And there's a there are a lot of very highly paid self-employed people. You know, it's funny. Some things never change. Kiyosaki wrote that book in 1997, which means he was learning these things in the 70s. And he was teaching these things probably in the 80s and the 90s to other people before he wrote this. And he's writing this in 1997, which is how many years ago? And he, some things never change. He said it then. There's a lot of really highly paid self-employed people that call themselves business owners. And there's a lot of really highly paid self-employed people that call themselves investors. So I think some of us need to get real with where we're at. And, and then also though, think about where we're going. Why do we want to, and why do we want to go there anyway? Love it. I I agree 100%. And I love that book and I love Robert and all the above, man. So yeah, thank you, Alan. That's, that's, that's great. I love it. All right. Number three.